In this problem, we have an infinite series. So it's the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus n plus 1. And the question is, does the series converge or diverge? So before you do a problem like this, you have to have um, a little bit of intuition. So first note, uh, if you have 1 over n squared plus n plus 1, when n is really, 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 really big, um, you can pretty much ignore the n and the 1. So this is approximately equal to 1 over n squared. And we know something about the sum of the terms uh, 1 over n squared. We know something about this series. This is a convergent p series because p is equal to 2, which, which is bigger than 1. So our series behaves like a p series. So our series should converge like a p series. And so since this one converges, our series should also converge. We just have to uh, justify that formally. So solution. To do that, we're going to use something called the direct comparison test. So when you're using the direct comparison test, you want to take this and you want to show that it is smaller than the terms of a convergent series. So we'll start by writing it down. So 1 over n squared plus n plus 1. And because we're trying to show convergence, you put a less than here. That's the key. That's why we went through all of this at the beginning, right? Because if you know what you're trying to show, you know what to put here. So when you're trying to show convergence, you'll put a less than here. Okay, so this is actually less than 1 over n squared. And you can do that because this fraction on the left is smaller than this fraction on the right because the bottom piece here is bigger, right? We have an extra n plus 1 here. Remember, when you make the bottom of a fraction bigger, the fraction itself becomes smaller. Always think like 1 over 100 is smaller than 1 over 10. Why? Because 100 is bigger than 10. Same idea here. As a formality, it's good to do this too. Just do this and put 0. And the reason is um, you're only supposed to use the direct comparison test when you have uh, a series with positive terms. So everything has to be positive. Okay, so we've shown this. We've shown that the terms of this series are smaller than the terms of this series, this than, than this as a series. So now we have to explain why the sum of these terms converges. So and the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, this converges by the p-test. So by the p-test since so what's p? p is this number here. So p is 2, which is bigger than 1. Remember, the p-test says that a p-series, so what's a p-series, just the sum of 1 over n to the p, will converge if p is bigger than 1, and will diverge if p is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so, so basically now we're done. We just have to finish uh, our justification. We showed that this is smaller than this. We explain why the sum of these terms is a convergent p-series. So therefore, our original series converges by the direct comparison test. So I'm just going to write DCT. The reason they call it the direct comparison test is because you're directly comparing it to another series. Um, you might say, why not just call it a comparison test? Well, there's something called the limit comparison test, which you use a limit to make the comparison. So uh, that's why they add the extra word, I guess, in the, in the name. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn about series. Good luck.